Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Yahweh. 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 Let, Let your kingdom, kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Let your will be done. Apostle John was banished on account of the testimony of Christ. Please sit down. And whilst John was in heaven, he had access to many, many truths about the operation of heaven. John was told to write a letter to the seven churches in the then Asia Minor which were a typology of the complete church admonishing them across different lines of the spirit walk then john had access to the throne room where he saw the worship of the father and the worship of the lamb then john had access to the things that will happen thereafter he began to see the end of times and the desolation that would come upon the nations then when we get to chapter 20 john is given the privilege again to go to the throne room and he's watching and john testifies that there are books in heaven and books were opened the book of life was only one of the books this is john's record and we know that his record is true john said he saw that there were books in heaven that those books had many functions and that those books were for earth there were things that happened in the earth that were captured in those books one of those books is what i want to share with you what it represents in the lives of the saints it's called the book of remembrance hmm. The book of remembrance memory is a very deep spiritual mystery please look at me memory is an advantage that God gave man 
it is because of the power of memory that you are able to remember it is because of the power of memory that you are able to preserve knowledge are we together now it will be impossible to advance in science and so on and so forth if you lack memory memory is a system of retention is God's intelligence given to man an ability to retain things because God is not only a giver he's a keeper but I know whom I have believed follow me tonight and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed so God has many systems of keeping things there is a system that keeps the prayers of the saints the Bible says the prayers of the saints arise like incense and they are collected in a vial and stored he's able to keep hallelujah and that one of the things that can be kept in heaven is the activities of the saints in the earth and that there is a book called the book of remembrance now the book of remembrance to a carnal man would suggest that God forgets the book of remembrance is not necessarily supposed to remind God as though he forgot no the book of remembrance is one of the ways that God administers justice in heaven please understand this in the judiciary some of you who are lawyers and are legal practitioners you have a very thorough knowledge of the Constitution however there is a manual a compendium of all of the policies that should govern the activities of men within a defined territory and when you are in the law court I pray that God will open your eyes tonight when you are in the law court you not only need your memory you need the books the books that archive and represent the basis of your advocacy the judge himself before he would pass a declaration no matter how experienced he will make reference to the books and consult with the things that are written there please listen very carefully and as he consults with the things that are written there he would be able to come up with certain verdicts there are people who look guilty until the book bails them out there are people who look innocent until the book proves otherwise and then we see that there is a book of remembrance the activities of men in the earth the bible clearly lets us know that there is the all-seeing eye of god now if you studied fine arts you would have learned something called perspective is that true that means that a viewpoint you can stand from an angle and they will ask you to capture every information you can find paint it draw it let it be represented are we together now the same applies for technical drawing and anything that has to do with construction you are taught to be able to capture realities and images and information from different angles now so when i am here now i cannot clearly see overflow one i almost totally cannot see overflow three i cannot see our online people and so when we talk about the ability to see it's difficult for us to understand how god sees because we think that god uses his eyes to see the realm that god dwells in listen very carefully the realm itself is an eye the bible says listen carefully that god dwells in unapproachable light that he is full of light and in him there is no darkness no shadow of turning no variableness are we together now so that everything that surrounds god everything 
emanates light and so there is no possibility of darkness i hope you know that darkness also means the absence of information the absence of truth so that from the realm of god it is impossible for any activity to happen within a sphere that is under the jurisdiction of his creation that he cannot see are we together now the concept of sight we only know it based on what physics would teach us or medicine and and all of that but you have to look at sight as a product of light if the bible says there is no iota of darkness that means there is no absence of information there is absolutely nothing upon the face of the earth that the all-seeing eye of god the creator cannot see now this is very powerful because there are things that you would wish a man saw so that you would be able to advocate for you for instance the injustice that happens in our world are we together now people can be oppressed and use their earthly influence to manipulate injustice to become justice but the bible records that while all of that is happening in the earth the all-seeing eye of god is there a system of vindication that what men cannot vindicate you on there is still hope are we together now please follow me very carefully so we're discussing books here god sees all things god knows all things god is everywhere this is the unique attribute of god that he did not share with man it is what qualifies God to be in a class of himself. God gave man any other thing. Gave him his image. Gave him dominion. Gave him the Holy Spirit. But God did not give man omnipresence. God did not give man omniscience. God did not give man omnipotence. These exclusive dimensions are reserved in God's class. Man does not know all things man cannot be everywhere are we together now this is very powerful so the bible records that every once in a while god would seem to show up in the earth and then begin to backdate certain things whether for good or for evil that there is a system by which god can go back in time and begin to deal with an issue that you may think has been long forgotten and that there is also a system where god can go back in time and begin to reward the saints for certain things now please understand what i'm telling you then the bible comes to the earth realm and begins to teach that men can forget are we together now scripture is scattered with this possibility that the best of us can forget your memory card can crash is that true your laptop can crash there's something in medicine called brain damage i don't know what it is but i i have an idea that whatever it is it represents a state where your brain for some reason may not coordinate at the frequency it was supposed to there are people who have gone into coma is that true and they came back and could not identify their wives their husbands is that true they didn't even know themselves they didn't know how to walk again how to talk again now i hope you know that if memory is not a possibility you will not be able to walk you will not anything you did now you will not remember again so that memory is an advantage you can archive yesterday and use the information for today i don't have to learn to walk again i learned it once it's been recorded it's been stored anytime i need to walk i use the mystery of remembrance are we together now listen very carefully i don't have to learn alphabets a to z again i did that many years ago but because of this power the ability of retention through memory and the ability to call the past into your present not everything in your past is bad i can call that knowledge and use it today 
is that true if i raise a song now that you used to sing when you were small it's amazing how effortless you will still sing it remember you did not rehearse but for the power of remembrance but as as flawless as men are they still forget they can forget i can give you a promise come show i can give you a promise meet me tomorrow and i'll give you one thousand naira and excite you you may remember but i may forget whether for health reasons demonic manipulation or just whatever it is and you come to me making a demand and i say no 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 i cannot remember and i rob you an opportunity to enjoy this blessing simply because i forgot there are people who are not employed today because their helpers forgot they forgot where they kept their cvs are we together now there are three stories in the bible that are very interesting they are testaments of the mystery of remembrance and how the saints can tap into this as one of the mysteries that cause them to command dominion and very quickly we are going to look at it remember this is a prayer meeting story number one genesis chapter 41 i'll run through the story very quickly the bible tells us that joseph when you begin to read from chapter 39 then chapter 40 the bible lets us know that joseph now from potiphar's house on account of an accusation remember what relocated him was an accusation potiphar's wife lied that he raped her and then they relocated him to a dungeon a prison and left him there and then the bible says one morning that joseph watch this joseph noticed the countenance there were many other people in the prison but two were worthy of note the buckler and the wine presser the bible says they all used to serve the king and for whatsoever reason they annoyed him and he threw them into the dungeon and so they were there with joseph and then the bible records that joseph on seeing them he called for their attention and then they communicated dreams they had heard and joseph said tell me the dream and i'll help you let's see what can happen and then the butler brought his own dream and then the wine presser started first and the interpretation of his dream was in three days the king the pharaoh of egypt will call you out of the dungeon and you will be restored back to the palace where you will serve the butler was impressed at this news and said i also dreamt and he said okay tell me your own dream i was holding three baskets upon my head full of bread he said and suddenly the ravens came and ate of the bread and joseph said oh dear this is what it means in three days you will also go out of here but the only issue is that when you are out of here you will be hung and the birds will eat your flesh so he was done and then he quickly told the wine presser please when you go to pharaoh do not forget remember me tell pharaoh now that you are with me in the prison we don't lie in the prison there's no point lying you are already there prison is where they tell the truth a lie is told so you will not go there but once you are there you see that so at least we've been able to discuss as co-prisoners you know the truth now please go to pharaoh and use the opportunity you have and tell him that there is a man who is who has been unjustly accused and whose destiny has been unjustly tied i can imagine the one presser say no problem god bless you when i go back the first thing i will do is to tell i must make reference to the person who prophesied to me it's amazing how good things can make you forget where you came from and can make you forget that you need to help others too this is man for you are we together now i i can imagine them hugging themselves loving themselves blessing themselves and saying look i'm not sure you will stay more than one week in this prison again now that i'm out by evening just imagine in the prison that we are discussing your issue and joseph will say thank you but the bible 
I love the Bible. The Bible says that when he was reinstated, it noted that the man forgot Joseph. Joseph remained in the prison for two years because one man's memory went bad. Please understand the implication of this. Not because his skill went down. Not because God was no longer with him. The memory of his helper could no longer capture the need to help him. And the man was there, full of grace, full of gifts, full of potentials, full of prophecy, full of dreams, but at the mercy of one man's memory. Are we together now? Then the Bible says, when God was now ready to remember by himself Genesis 41 let's start from there I've saved the long reading of chapter 39 and 40 Genesis 41 let's start from verse 1 and it came to pass at the end of what two full years take note of that information two full years that Pharaoh dreamed, and behold, he stood by a river. Verse 2. And behold, there came up out of this, this and that and that. Jump to verse 9. Let's save time. Verse 9. Now, remember, let me just save us the stress. He gathered everybody, the sorcerers and everyone, and said, I have dreamed a dream that has troubled me. The Pharaoh speaking now. And he attempted to get those who would interpret for him. And they could not interpret. And then the Bible says, verse 9, Then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember. I do remember my faults this day. Next verse. Pharaoh was wrought with his servants and put me in word in the captain of the guard's house both me and the chief baker and we dreamed a dream in one night i and he and we dream each man according to the interpretation of his dream read on and there was with us a young man was he not supposed to say this earlier but because he could not remember two full years were added to a man's experience and now by the mercy of God, look how effortless he's remembering everything. That means the information was still in his memory. Something stopped it from coming to light. Follow me, please. It does not look like this man forgot the story. So why could he not remember? Look how articulate he is in stating everything. Remember, his brother was now two years old in the grave. He had died. And he still remembered everything. He says, there was this young man, an Hebrew, servant to the captain of the guard. And we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man according to his dream, did he interpret? 3, 13. And it came to pass, as he interpreted to us, so it was. Me, he restored unto mine office, and him he hanged. 14. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The power of remembrance then only after remembrance then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph and they brought him hastily hastily that means speed was a possibility in his life but just because the memory of the benevolence what he did could not be remembered this man remained in the dungeon and he shaved himself and changed his raiment and came in unto Pharaoh. Now, when you begin to read the remaining parts, after interpreting the dream, at that moment, Joseph is reinstated. And not only reinstated, promoted to get to a point where he became the prime minister of Egypt. And Pharaoh made a declaration that only in the throne would joseph be lower than him now remember that everything in scripture is a type of christ and the church 
are we together number two everything in scripture is prophecy the bible says the things that were written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope are we together now yes so joseph is put on that throne and then they bring him an egyptian wife are we together now the daughter of potiphar the bible says the priest of own and she became his wife and they too became the rulers of egypt and under their leadership egypt began to thrive and excel even in the times of famine now notice everyone who came to buy grain to survive only did that because one man remembered look at the miracles that were associated with remembrance the reinstating of a man the fulfillment of a prophecy the saving of a nation and the then world from famine for seven years were at the mercy of one man's memory everybody say the book of remembrance if one man's memory can produce that kind of boomerang effect one man just remembering and the king fetches him from a dungeon and he becomes a representation of God's purposes within his day then it means there is something we need to know about the power of remembrance number two in Isaiah chapter 38 please give it to us verse 1 the Bible talks about a man called Hezekiah are we together now in those days verse 1 please look up hezekiah was sick unto death everybody say unto death that means that something was about to end in his life and the bible says isaiah the prophet the son of amos came unto him and said thus saith the lord now when god is speaking and and i hope you know that isaiah was not a fake prophet isaiah was a genuine prophet thus saith the lord set your house in order for thou shalt die and not live who is speaking god is speaking through a mouthpiece called isaiah and saying hezekiah i hate to be the bearer of bad news but you are not going to recover you will die and hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the lord let's see the contents of hezekiah's prayer ready and he said everybody remember now remember when i remember my wrong this day that's what the butler said remember now oh lord i beseech thee how i have walked before you go to the archives and check god of heaven i know there is a verdict upon me now but i place a demand on the mystery of remembrance remember that you are a just god righteousness and justice at the foundations and i have become a lawyer at the point of death i need to plead a case and i'm using the remembrance he says i have walked before you in truth and with a perfect heart and i have done that which is good in your sight is it not written that if they obey and serve me they will spend their years in prosperity is that true now isaiah is bringing before god he's saying lord i know you are god but something is wrong with this verdict i know that you can remember there are archives testaments of my uprightness before you and i bring it before you and i plead although you are god remember next verse then the word of the lord came to isaiah again so the bible is showing us how god remembers now watch this he's praying remember the content of his prayer remember the bible is showing us how god remembers that when god remembers a thing or a person this is how he acts verse 4 again please let's go back to verse 4 so that we we'll understand what we are doing then the word of the lord came to isaiah saying next verse go and say to hezekiah thus saith the lord the god of david thy father i have heard your prayer of remembrance i have seen your tears behold i will add to thy days 15 years verse 6 
and i will deliver thee and this city out of the king of assyria and i will defend this city and then you will read on he used the sun as a sign to go back 15 degrees so that he would know the certainty of the things that were spoken everybody say remembrance if you knew isaiah and isaiah died you say oh dear i mean hezekiah hezekiah you have gone but hezekiah refused to die and hezekiah used remembrance to insist that oh god remember i have walked uprightly before you and the bible says god remembered he turned his situation around the last story is a prayer meeting Harush Kalabra Kusiata Katush. Story, story. Once upon a time, there was a king called Ahasuerus. And that king, the Bible records that he was lord over 127 provinces. Then the Bible lets us know that he was married to a woman called Vashti and that the king would usually, as they did in those days, flaunt their glory, including their wives. Are we together? And it was time to bring Vashti to the scene and Vashti refused. And I hope you know that what Vashti did was not really, it was an offense, but it was not that bad. It was because she was in a position that she had the power to influence other women. If the king, Ahasuerus, was not a king, an ordinary man, the suggestion would be counseling. Counsel them and say, that's all right. You are not the first. Just make sure you don't act like a stupid woman tomorrow. But because she was in a position, the king was such a nice man, he didn't want to act. But his advisors came and said, no, 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 no. These people are models that means not every offense carries the same gravity at every level you will do tomorrow what you did today and the consequence may be more are you seeing that now and then the bible says Vashti is banished then the scene changes and the king calls for young virgins to come all within the province and then the bible says in Shushan there was a little village girl called Hadassah. Are we together? Yes. The, she was the niece of Mordecai, one who sat at the gate. Now, please follow my story. Then the Bible says, a time came when certain people were conniving to dethrone Ahasuerus. And Mordecai heard that information and he took it to the king and told the king that this and that such and such is to happen and they apprehended the people and justice was administered then the bible says it was recorded and left are we together now yes so cut the long story short esther becomes queen but in that same palace the right hand man of the king who was a friend to vashti obviously are we together now by the name Haman the Bible says that this man was antagonistic to the purposes of God he hated the Jews I believe had they left Haman for long enough one day he would have implicated Esther herself because his plan the Bible says was to annihilate the Jews one by one he would first focus on the ones outside the palace and then deal with the ones within the palace so her man was making life very difficult are we together now and then every other thing that happens is the hand of god and how he delivers people but now let's go very quickly to esther chapter 6. on that night look up please on that night could not the king sleep and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles and they were read before the king i hope you know that the book of esther again is a type of our relationship with the christ esther being his bride the church 
Mordecai being the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Haman being Satan, the accuser of the brethren who once had access to the throne, who was now banished. Are you getting the point now? Esther being queen, King Ahasuerus being the father. Now understand all of these stories. The Bible says that on that night could not the king sleep. Was it not in your Bible that you should give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem? Are we together now? So the Bible says that they were read before the king. Next verse. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bithana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hand on King Ahasuerus. Verse 3. And the king said, What honor and dignity hath been done, not will be done. That means under normal circumstances, this man should not be in this situation after communicating that level of benevolence. What had been done to this man? Mordecai for this. Then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, There is nothing done for him. There is nothing done done for him the company runs by your intelligence but there is nothing done for him the lives and the destiny saved through your love for God but nothing done for him next verse and the king said who is in the court now her man was coming to the king the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai. Look at this, this, this wicked, Luciferian type of attitude. That means if the book of remembrance were not open for three more days, Mordecai would have died. Remember, it coincided with when you wanted to get the permission to finally finish him ah it's good to be remembered on time it's good to be remembered on time now here is a man i'm sure the man had discussed with his wife we will hang that man today but that same time quarter to shame may god arise for someone in the name of jesus christ just when the desire of the wicked seems to find expression by the intelligence of God and by the mystery of remembrance may God raise help in the name of Jesus Christ follow my story her man was in the outward court of the king's house to speak to the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him the guy had dug the gallows I'm sure in his mind he had imagined how Mordecai would die Rejoice not over me, my enemies. God can remember. Next verse. And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, her man standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. Let's read on. Look up, please. So her man came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor? When God is ready to lift you, now notice when he was talking to the chamberlains he said what shall be done to Mordecai but when her man now came if he said what should be done to Mordecai he said uh -uh, what will be done to the man whom the king honored I hope you know this same mystery was used to conceal Jesus when the Pharisees came and said are you the Christ who are you John said I am the voice of one crying that means I will not tell you I'm Elijah that will forerun the coming of the Lord. Are we together now? Jesus Christ, that concealing continued to happen until the Father finally declared, this is my beloved son. So now Mordecai is hidden as the man who the king wants to honor. Now her man thought in his heart, watch this. To whom will the king delight to honor more than to myself? So his selfishness was about to propose a fantastic idea to his peril. 
he makes diviners mad that God can turn their reasoning backward so that they will not perform their enterprise and Haman answered the king for the man whom the king delighted to honor comma, let the royal apparel be brought before the king before which the king used it to wear that means her man had even been eyeing her Azaros himself. Are you seeing it now? <laughs> you are told to honor a man. And you say, king, you have many robes. There's one that you wear. Let it be done to that man. When you start wearing the king's clothes, you are shifting closer to the throne. <laughs> My God. And the horse that the king rided upon. Does that sound like Satan to you? I will be like the most high. I will arise above the stars of God. The same spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience. It says, And the crown royal which is set upon his head. Verse 9. And let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of, of one of the king's most noble princes that they array the man withal whom the king delighted to honor. Listen. And bring him on horseback through the streets of the city and proclaim before him, thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Full stop. What a wicked man. Because he thought about himself. And listen. That opportunity only allowed his lust and imagination. Everything he had imagined to happen. By all means. Now he had the chance. And he said king this is what should be done to that man. Next verse. Hallelujah. Ah. Then the king said to her man. Make haste and take the apparel and the horse that thou hast said and do even so to Joshua Selman there is a strong anointing on what I share with you That seated at the king's gate let nothing fail of all that thou hast spoken nothing next verse then took Haman the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him before the horseback through the street of the city and her man was dragging Mordecai. Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighted to honor. Next verse. And Mordecai came again to the king's gate. Now notice this. Let me explain to you what this means. Look up. After all that glamour, when Mordecai was done, he returned back to the gate and sat there. Will you climb a king's horse with his apparel and not go to the throne and sit down? Mordecai said, I will stay where I was lifted. There was a place I stayed. Even though I am rising, I will not forget that it was my service at the gate that caused remembrance to come. Can you wear the king's robe? Ride the king's horse? And still remain where the king kept you. The king had not promoted him. The king gave an instruction. I'm sure while Mordecai was on that horse. He was saying don't be carried away. You are not yet in the palace. You will go there but you are not yet there. And he came down. Imagine the entire crowd. Say Mordecai I'm sure you are the assistant now. And he says watch me. Let me return back to the place from whence that grace found me i cast my crown before 
the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and Lord of lords. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. Your glorious majesty. Someone be Mordecai tonight. Hey. Sarkin Salama, Sarkin Aljana, Yabone Nakao, Yabone Nakao, Sujata, Sujata, Sarkin Salama, Sarkin Aljana. Listen, this right here is how great men fall when they are tested with power when they are tested with lifting when they are tested with the anointing when god begins to lift you and sudden lifting come overnight chances are that you will forget deuteronomy chapter 8 don't turn there it says let it not be that when you have built houses when you have done all these things you will say my power and my might has gotten this. He said, but thou shall remember. Listen. It's not only God alone that has a book of remembrance. Men must have books of remembrance. When David stood before Goliath, he said, the God who delivered me, I remember what happened. The God who delivered me from the bear, delivered me from the lion today. He would deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not his benefits. Forget not. Forget not that he took you from nothing. Forget not that there were 10 of you in your family and you are the first to rise now. Forget not that it was, you, you started rising before you knew anything about favor. Forget not. Let's just stay here and let me teach you something very powerful, my brothers and my sisters. A man who can remember is a man who can be sustained a man who can remember the faithfulness of God remember where you were yesterday remember the hand that lifted you that is the man that will never go down pastors forget businessmen forget years ago I remember I watched a Nigerian film of a village girl who was loved by a wealthy man i don't know the name of the film i don't even know who acted it are we together now and he picked this village girl i think she was selling something granite or so, you know the way they do nigerian films and he saw her and liked her and picked her his parents insulted him he said kill me i would marry this village girl and then like 11 years or so down the line she had become the wife of this man and there was another village girl who was a house help in that house and this one's village girl ill treated this woman ill treated the young girl until one time i think she got blind or paralyzed or something and when she was paralyzed it was the small girl that stayed with her in the hospital and then a pastor came to pray for her for uh, uh, healing or something and then she began to remember that all of this and that and that then the long and short of the nigerian film is that she later discovered that that girl was her sister the little girl i think the, maybe the mother had the child somewhere also that was her sister that she was ill-treating let me tell you this the bliss of the palace made the butler to forget 
the bliss of greatness the applause of men you know most people sit down and say what is there in fame what? no 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 there is a reason why remembrance is necessary you want sustainable anointing you want sustainable impact please learn to remember you need to have a book of remembrance that is in the similitude of that which is on the throne i remember that 10 years ago when i was nothing this gentleman came i remember when i was soaking gary for instance you will say i remember so that you don't see him 10 years later and push him no there are mistakes you make when you are outside of the palace it does not matter if you make those mistakes in the palace you will pay for it first she could make any mistake outside the palace and go scot free but now this mistake on the throne would cost her so much thou shall remember the lord thy god thou shall remember many have forgotten their fathers many have forgotten their mothers many have forgotten those who played all kinds of roles in their lives many have forgotten the god that lifted them many have forgotten the hand that helped them please listen to what i'm telling you god is speaking to someone here that a man can rise so high that the scar of yesterday's pain can so erode from your life and your mind it will never look like you were there it will never look like you ever climbed a bike in your life it will it will never look like you soaked gary i know sometimes we are excellent people but sometimes we allow the deception of success to so swallow us that we lose the ability to forget i have learned as a personal principle that modesty is the closest way to remember when you live a life that is modest temperate the bible calls it that he that strives for mastery is temperate that means define boundaries it was a mistake solomon made he refused to be temperate by the time we get to ecclesiastes solomon was a man who was utterly lawless and careless see let me tell you this i believe in prosperity i believe in all the blessings of god but look at me believers there is only so much cloth you can wear there is only so much food you can eat are we together now this is all the stomach you have another one will not come from anywhere thank god for all the cars you will have you will not remove one leg and put it in one jeep and remove your head and put it in another car the way we approach success if not guided by these mysteries many people will fall by the wayside this is why you find out uh, respectfully speaking this is true for men of god is true for business people is true for politicians they begin to rise and when the whole world is watching suddenly they vanish out of thin air the mistake of haman and the wisdom of mordecai are two lessons we must learn Mordecai rides on a horse the king's horse that honor is an honor that I don't think even the queen had and when Mordecai dropped he said thank you Haman he returned back to the king's gate that's where they found him was it not on your knees the anointing found you have you returned back <laughs> Was it not in the place of fasting and prayer that grace met you? Was it not in the place of dedication where you will roll like this, my dear brother that was rolling left and right? I'm sure for some of you that was so embarrassing. This guy is falling his hand. So a, a deceptive approach to life tells us. Listen, if you were lifted on your knees, remain on your knees. If you were lifted while singing his praise, remain singing his praise. It's very uncomfortable to remain on your knees when the world is watching you. It's embarrassing. You are not that naive. You should stand so you can shine. Apostle Joshua Selman, the man of God, anointed. But when you remember 
that if God forgets you anything can happen to you when God forgets you anything can happen it's a lesson we are still going to move on but I need you to get this listen I have shared this for years and told people be careful I have warned many people in my life and said if if you don't pay attention with the way you are managing success you will fall by the wayside it was not prophecy some of them thought it was nonsense nonsense and today sadly speaking many of them have gone down as if it was not God that lifted them do you know the higher you rise the more slippery the path is day can come when you will even be ashamed to roll before God why will I roll my designers on the ground in the presence of kings and in the presence of nobles this was the mistake that Saul's daughter made that made her remain barren when David it was time to take the ark David danced and danced and rejoiced like a fool and the daughter of Saul said, King, you are no longer a shepherd. You are carrying a stupid bush mindset. You want to embarrass yourself. You are no longer, a, you are a king. Act like royalty. And he said, I'm dancing before God who took the kingdom from your father and gave to me. And the Bible says, God had that conversation. When God had that conversation, no matter what would have happened, she wouldn't have given birth. Because an indignation rose i continue to tell god i say lord i remain your boy huh i am other people's father i am other people's mentor i am other people's role model thank god for that but i remain your boy you will always meet me where you found me adam where are you i heard thy voice but i hid it because I was naked he said her man let's continue sit please her man hasted to his house mourning crying and having his head covered next verse and her man told Zeresh his wife and all his friends everything that had befallen him and said his wise men and Zeret listen then said his wise men and Zeresh his wife unto him if Mordecai be the seed of the Jews before whom thou hast begun to fall thou shall not prevail against him but shall surely fall before him that means this mistake you have made Mordecai is the seed of the Jews there are commandments that have been given the Jews to not forget if Mordecai is a true Jew and will remember those ordinances you are finished because the factors that should make him fall and give way will not happen again your doom is true look at this Mordecai once at the gate now I, I want to save us time because you read later on you find out that her man was hung at the gallows all kinds of things began to happen in his life culminated by Esther's declaring to the king that this man wanted to destroy her people and the king went to his garden to think like any wise leader would do to not be hasty in speech and then he came and knelt down and was begging her and when the king came it looked like he was trying to rape the wife and the king said not only have you annoyed me you are now trying to rape my wife go and hang this guy the gallows was there waiting for them and they hung him there and that was the end of it and then eventually Mordecai was honored to take the place of Haman in the palace and that ends the story of Esther listen carefully there are two women only in scripture whose names became the books of the Bible and their names were written there so that we will remember what they did the two names ruth and esther were put in the bible the two women did the same thing 
notice that in all cases it had to do with men it had to do with marriage and it had to do with the power of submission the power of loyalty the power of not trivializing the things that god can do and the remembrance that follows ruth remembered her mother-in-law and said i'm not leaving you your god will be my god your people will be my people and because she stayed and remembered how this woman was nice to her as a mother-in-law she led her and advised her to a field of a wealthy man called boaz are we together now yes and boaz saw her and loved her and took her i hope it is very interesting because for esther she had never married but for ruth she lost her husband and now an opportunity was coming again remembrance the book of remembrance that archives the works of the saints and that there is a reward system attached to it and that once you can invoke the mystery that will make god remember now take note he's not remembering because he's forgotten he's remembering because it is part of the ordinances of heaven for administering justice remembrance let me show you a scripture i found that really really changed my life and then i'll give you two keys and we'll pray never forget this scripture for the rest of your life Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14. Please read with me. Everyone is projected if you can see. Nehemiah chapter 13 and verse 14. One to read. Remember me, O oh my God, concerning this. Stop, 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 stop. That means you can take any matter to God and provoke remembrance concerning this you can put your this there concerning my finances concerning my family situation concerning my joblessness concerning the tragedy happening you can go before god and say remember me oh my god concerning this and wipe not my good deeds that i have done for the house of my god and for the offices thereof when the lord showed me this scripture i remember crying like a baby i said this is powerful lord do not wipe these good deeds with all humility you can go before god lord i have served lord i am a faithful worker i stand before god it is true that i clean the seats lord i stand before you that you can go concerning this this is how to petition the parliament of heaven remember concerning this and all that i have done do not wipe it out for the house of the lord and for the offices thereof so god remembers and every time god remembers god acts please look at me my dad is such an amazing man quite a very very amazing man one thing I learned from my dad that I thank God for he's still alive I truly thank God for is that my dad was an extremely grateful man my dad paid attention I saw this growing up if you did something striking my dad would make a big deal out of it and will continue to raise a memorial over that act one time they were traveling to the village and it was in the night i don't know what took them there it was really late and the car broke down i think it was raining and there was they asked around and there was a mechanic now they were more than halfway the journey almost in the middle of nowhere and the mechanic was brought and he had to look at the car and the mechanic not only looked at the car i think i hope i'm right he followed them right to the village so that if anything happened he would be there do you know from that time until i left home every time my dad were traveling he would buy potato or buy something and stop at that house and say where is this man this was 
even it was it was more than 10 years down the line he was still doing it remembrance remembrance there are people today who are not supposed to be sitting with kings but are sitting because the kings remember their fathers remember their mothers you said you are the son of who that man let me tell you a little story in 1961 i was a young boy from the village with a torn trouser when your father gave me a cup of water the cup of water that was what 10 naira is now what a great destiny because of remembrance when god remembers you you are lifted when men remember you you are lifted you need the book of remembrance to be open Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be if you left me now? Where would I be if you left you away? Thank you, Jesus. Do you know, let me tell you, in my personal walk with God, there are things that God has done in my life. Even to this day, he continues to do them. And most times when I go before him to say thank you, he will remind me of a particular kingdom, not necessarily a sacrifice. He will tell me that this that happened. Do you know there are families, before I finish my story, there are families that will never go down. Do you know why? Because they didn't have all the money, but they left a little room for missionaries. They left a little space. And every man of God will come. You would think the people are in ministry. Their job is to cook. And you would think those things will be forgotten. But there is a book in the heavenlies where these things are recorded. And you will see the child will come many years later. Sometimes the child may not even be serious with God. But for that covenant of remembrance, God will come and visit the children. Remembrance. I once watched the documentary of Fiji Island. The revival that happened in fiji island and it was said that the missionaries the early missionaries who got there that the people oppressed them and killed them or butchered them or did something very tragic and then they died the moment they died is a documentary i think you can find it somewhere the fish in the sea stopped producing fish the land stopped producing at its maximum it wasn't even producing the nation literally plunged to depression until some intercessors began to pray they began to pray and to pray and to pray and then the lord revealed to them that there is an indignation that is rising over that territory and that they needed to plead the blood it would take the blood of the eternal covenant to solve this problem and then they had time to pray repent on behalf of the nation and then in addition fortunately they found the grandchildren of the missionaries that they had killed the grandchildren and they invited them to fiji island and they performed a ceremony officially apologizing loving them and they prayed and blessed the land just like child's play within a short time i don't know what time frame exactly strangely they saw fish in the sea and species of fish that they had not seen the first crusade that we had as a ministry the first crusade it was in plateau state i remember one of the the people who was guiding us the tour guide he took us to the graves of the missionaries and showed us the missionaries that were killed when they brought the gospel to that land and showed us the missionaries and showed us everything and that from that time that they killed the people all kinds of things had been happening in the land and i remember standing there to pray and we said lord the lord is gracious and compassionate the bible says he's slow to anger and rich in love we stood there and said we are also missionaries and in the name of jesus christ we stand by the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of any abel there and to speak and say in the name of jesus that the land be released i tell the truth and i lie not 
we were somewhere standing and we were watching a hill and all of a sudden physical dark shadow like everybody you could record it we just began to see it slowly moving out of the land it took almost 45 minutes so it was not something you would rush like that just moving corporately out of the land where i schooled secondary school there used to be a tree the tree i'm not exaggerating the tree was dried but all the leaves were on it they tied ropes around the tree and you would ask and they would tell you there was a story that the tree was cursed there was a story that happened around there cursed as a memorial over the land why would god tell the nation of israel raise a memorial in this place and teach your children that means they should not forget if they ask you why do you do this teach them that this is why we do this so that you will know this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate keep it keep it my son he says pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings he says do not let them depart depart from your mouth keep them in the midst of your heart then he says they are alive to those who find them and health to their flesh as a man i've had people in my life who i almost cannot reject helping and lifting because they the the power of remembrance they will always remember and make reference and say apostle thank you you did so 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 and so to me you did so 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 and so to my family and they remind me of god and i'm compelled every time even when they don't ask me anything it's like their remembrance of that is is a debt that that i must pay i am moved to wanting to help them again many have forgotten like haman i want to employ the wisdom of mordecai that you never forget where he brought you from are we together that there is remembrance now let me teach you before we pray very quickly two keys two keys that open the book of remembrance over a man there are two scriptures that will reveal these keys and then we'll pray blessed be the name of the lord galatians chapter 6 and verse 9 this is the first key that you will need to open the book of remembrance over yourself over your family over your territory let's read together one two go and let us not be weary in well-doing uh-huh for in due season we shall reap if we faint not watch this the first key that opens the book of remembrance is consistency of your well-doing regardless of reward regardless of who sees you regardless of whatever commendation comes or does not come consistency weariness is something that can catch up with you when your value is not being appreciated when your impute is not being noticed are we together now we're humans and if you continue to strive to contribute in the life of a man a ministry an organization a system and it looks like you are not noticed and you are not rewarded the side effect is weariness and the bible says let us not be weary that means that your reward is tied to your consistency this country is full of stories of people who deserve to be rewarded politically spiritually are we together financially in business in ministry but for many years they had all kinds of hamans around their lives around their offices yet the people continue to be steadfast 
Many of our loved ones have situations where they were qualified to be the ones sitting at certain positions, but manipulations happened and yet they continued being consistent. The Bible says if you are consistent, if you are steadfast, if you are unbending in well-doing, the Bible gives you a guarantee that a season, according to the law of times and seasons, the law of time and chance, because it happened to them all. The Bible says one day, like the hand of a clock, it must come to your turn and you must find expression. This is true. This is true. I met a precious lady yesterday, one, one dear lady. I used to know her, that should be 2004, 2005 in the campus here. She used to sing in one of the fellowships, wonderful lady. She would sing her heart out, dance and celebrate God. Everyone wanted to attend the fellowship just because, I mean, the lady would lead worship with all, she was always smiling, always happy. And then I had the opportunity to see her yesterday and I saw her she was happy now a mother of many children and I looked at her and then she brought me her album and said apostle I remember those days and I said oh dear who told you God does not remember who told you God forgets the sacrifices of the Saints there are things you are doing today you are already securing tomorrow with it a day will come you will watch the video of this level of koinonia and tears will come out of your eyes you say that was me cleaning the chairs that was me playing the keyboard and someone stands to say you are not supposed to be where you are and god says it's too late your consistency imagine if mordecai got tired and said look i'm tired of bailing the king out and then her man would be receiving the glory mordecai was consistent even when he rode upon the king's back he returned to stay where he was found everybody say consistency listen this is an encouragement to someone right now the worship team got it powerfully what's that song again you are not turning back where's those in not turning back and not going just sing that part for me i'm gonna wait on you jesus I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. Yeah, that's the song. I'm gonna I'm wait. I'm not turning back now. 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 One more time. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. 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 And I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning. Listen, let me teach you something. Impatience will always give birth to what will fight your promise. You must sustain the stamina to stay. Let God meet you where he last instructed you. Lord, I will continue. Another woman who showed us the power of waiting was Anna the prophetess. The Bible says for about 60 years, from the time she lost her husband, listen carefully, for about 60 years, she was in the temple. Do you know what it means to pray without results for 60 years? Abraham did it for 25 years. Hey, my soul, wait thou upon the Lord. There is power in waiting. There is power in staying. There is power in remaining. I keep sowing. I don't see the heavens open, but I will continue sowing. I keep speaking. I may not see the result, but I will never stop speaking. I will keep serving. I may not see the result, but I will keep serving. I will hold on to the word. Men may mock me. They may call you stupid. You are wasting your time. 
Where is the consolation? When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. And our mouths were filled with laughter. And they testified among the hidden that the Lord had done great things for us. He says, the Lord had done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again our captivity like the streams of the Negev. The Bible says, they that sow in tears. Listen, Koinonia, it is possible to sow in tears. And the Bible says, in due season, John remained in the wilderness until his season of appearing. Hear me. Listen to me. You must conquer the pressure that men will bring to you. They will push you into seasons that are not yet God's design. They will push you into things that are not yet God's design. Mordecai, can you remain in the palace? Can you stay at the gates? Mordecai looked at Haman and knew that Haman was occupying his position. But the battle is the Lord's. He remained at the gate. If Haman tried to fight Mordecai, Mordecai would kill him because Mordecai, Haman was the king's friend. Can I tell you this, my brothers and my sisters? It will not always look like this. Let me speak to you. It will not always be that you will go home every night and wonder, what do I eat? No, no. The Bible says, why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. Man of God, it will not always be that you go to a meeting and the power of God will not be there. No, you, you are in a season. Stay, stay, I'm prophesying to you. You are in a season. Build stamina and stay. A day will come when the glory of God will mantle you. Stay while you learn. Jesus, you are savior, not at its 12th. You are savior, not at age 18. Jesus, you are savior, not at 30. You are only savior at 33. The 18 year old Jesus would not save the world. Joseph, you are a deliverer, but not in the pit. Please listen to what I teach you tonight. These are secrets of the kingdom. My soul wait. So the first key that causes the book of remembrance to be open. The book of remembrance in heaven and the book of remembrance before men is consistency. Keep praying. You look like a fool but keep praying. Bros, you are still here. Five years you are not making progress. Your colleagues have started ministry. Stay there. Stay there, stay there, stay there while you pray. Listen, let me tell you. One of the most powerful virtues of the spirit is self-control. Many of the gifts of the spirit are tied to it. Why should I keep quiet when I can prophesy? Why should I not talk when I can preach? There are people in this ministry that I love so much, scattered in and around. They are mighty men in the spirit, in ministry. Some of them are mighty business people in this ministry. Multi-millionaires. You will never see any pressure to be known, any pressure to be seen. They come and sit down, they serve God, they worship God, yet they are mighty prophets. They are mighty apostles. Let me tell you something. When you see a man that has self-control, respect such a man. It is powerful to have what to say and keep quiet. It is powerful to know what to do and still remain. It is powerful to see a door that is open and yet not move. If the door is closed, it's not a proof of your stamina. The door is closed. But can you stand before an open door and yet not move? Hallelujah. This is very powerful. I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of great people in my life. And sometimes when people want to tell me who and who I'm going to meet, they'll say, Apostle, 
this man is a great man or maybe he's an influential man politically or he's a great man financially or spiritually and apostle ah, these people have this and that and i stand before the lord god of heaven and i lie not i have never been under pressure to tell anybody sorry sir can you help me and buy recharge card uh, I, there is a ministry called koinonia if the ministry is blessing you can you send 10 naira no no consistency god is ministering to someone now because you see let me tell you this there are many of you that coming to koinonia is even an embarrassment to you because by the time you come they look at you and say for five years no car no nothing the only thing you do is to pray like a fool the only thing you do is to loiter around and sometimes you can feel stupid for being consistent i give you a scripture you are already opening a door stay there till the door opens you see the thing about god is that five minutes to your lifting it will still not be like it five minutes to your rising joseph you are still in the prison while the person has left the palace and is coming to you already you are not seeing him Oh Israel, when God is already winning the battle, you don't have to fight, but you are not seeing. Just believe in what Jehoshaphat is saying. Hallelujah. Consistency. I will pray as before. I will fast as before. I will worship as before listen never be ashamed of your today you will miss it tomorrow receive the grace and the stamina to stay let people laugh at you let people mock you especially for our dear ladies because society has all kinds of pressures on ladies show us your husband is he a rich man show us this show us that have you traveled to um, um, um asia america london uk and you stand there feeling stupid for loving the lord let us not be weary in well-doing there are preachers that need to stay lord what should i do now should i start a church or should i stay and god says just keep doing what you are doing in due season we shall reap can i tell you this the season of reward for a man's life is a fearful dimension of that man's life for reasons you cannot tell and explain you will see that god will command the territory to begin to sing your songs and to speak your purposes david was going to be king but for a very long time he was in the wilderness he killed a lion but remained in the wilderness he killed a bear if that news got to saul they would have called him to serve in the palace but he would never be king sometimes don't be quick to announce your achievements let god and time reveal it just come kill the bear but remain quiet in the wilderness this itch to talk sometimes is proof of weakness you sabotage where you are going did the bible not already tell you that you cannot light a lamp and hide it under a bushel Waiting is very hard. It's proof of spiritual maturity to wait until seasons come. Hallelujah. I've shared with you my story for many years in this ministry. God would not allow me to buy a car. Even when Koinonia was on, crowds of people here, I would climb a bike and come for Koinonia. You would think I were a stupid person. It was not lack of finances just like that lord why do you want to humiliate me i love you so much why won't you leave me to buy a car then people started bringing cars to give me and god would tell me to just bless them and let them go if i were your relative would you clap for me for that kind of brain you would just be careful what you call common sense it has destroyed many people the way of the spirit is very strange I will never forget one time a man came to sit in front of me and said this is what god gave him he was going to bring me car keys and he carried the keys of the car and i was already smiling when he came again mm -mm. he said this man has not discussed with his wife his wife would join the people who would talk about you and say you have manipulated the husband i appreciated the man prayed for him with all my heart and told him to carry the car and go you see that Will I ever have a need of a car today? No. Never, ever, forever. 
listen waiting pays when God wants to pay you he will backdate it press down shaken together to make room for more fill it till it runs over sustain the stamina to wait shut your mouth and your ears against the things that people say and all the rubbish and the nonsense that you will hear people say you are on your way to a dimension of grace he's training you he's teaching you listen you can stay with god you are lifting people out of the wheelchair and god will tell you not to honor one invitation sit down lord as what be a brother in welfare not even prayer band not even any place lord at least let me go to prayer department he says welfare is where i need you but lord are you aware i'm a prophet and you, i will be a prophet to the nations he will say cook let me teach you how to feed men and you are there turning food and somebody says do you ever have the ambition of being a chef and you almost want to want to slap the person and say are you do i look like a chef and god says turn it i teach you how to overturn and you carry that cooler on your head and you are marching and somebody says, ah, emoji was it not you that was in our house yesterday he said this you mean i thought you were a pastor say no i work in the welfare department what kind of church is this is it that they don't see men of god in this church and you feel stupid you drop that cooler and say no god this this lady i she 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 saw me prophesy god says carry that cooler because it is while you are carrying that cooler you are qualifying yourself a day will come you will be able to carry any luggage and not be ashamed because you learned how to carry something embarrassing hallelujah i always tell people jokingly I didn't start ministry preaching let me tell you you've heard my story i started ministry playing keyboard for a reverend who were part of the, the it was a prison ministry they were part of the people who preached later on to general obas and joe when he was in prison they used to allow the mission agencies to go and preach they preached to him i used to play keyboard for them i had my local church and then later on he started a church when he started a church it was quite a distance from where i would live i would carry my own keyboard by myself this was 93 94 i would carry keyboard by myself and trek to the international hotel where he was using and drop it there i would play that keyboard they will finish share the grace i will carry it and trek back with joy the only thing I ever got throughout my time of serving in that ministry was one cassette and one bottle of Fanta when they were dedicating his album. I would have been offended and I would have been angry and say, you don't know who I am. The proof of sonship is servanthood. If you can serve, you are a son indeed. Let this mind be in you which was also in Christ Jesus though he is God he considered it not robbery he came and humbled himself died even the death on the cross wherefore on the strength of that do you know that Jesus was almost giving up at Gethsemane as a man if it's possible let this cup pass over me I said nevertheless not my will but yours be done so this is the first key someone say I will continue Better is the end of a thing, the Bible says, than the beginning thereof. It is not enough to start. You must trust God for grace. And listen, my brothers and my sisters, I admit to you that it is painful. Your humanity will catch up with you while you wait. Yes. As a gentleman, they will look at you and say, I used to know you in 2000. You mean you are still here? How much is this shoe you are buying? Which church did you say you are serving? He said, no, I've been promoted. I'm a deacon. He said, deacon, deacon indeed. Your useless life looking like your yesterday. You have not changed. And you stand there feeling stupid for serving God. And God says, continue. 
I almost gave up. Sam. And like I just couldn't take life anymore. This is an encouragement for someone. My problems held me bound. Depression weighed me down. But God kept me. So I wouldn't let go. God's mercy kept me. So I won't let go. God can keep. He can give strength to the faint. Whatever you have to do, keep moving. Even if you cry, cry, but keep moving. Even if you feel discouraged, keep moving. Insist that I will never stop. If God has not stopped on me, then I will not stop on myself. I know he's called me to be a worshiper to the nations. My first song, they forgot it in two days. You may be saying. Some of you put your songs online. After three months, only two people liked it. No problem. Just continue. Some of you put your sermons online. And you had only four comments and all of them were criticizing you. Go back to Bible school. Someone wrote nonsense. Another person said, look, false prophet. And he just said, I will never go online again. I will never preach this thing again. No. Reinhard Bonke said the first time, he used to escort a man for crusade. And that day the man told him, God said he would not come back again. Reinhard Bonke would be the person to preach. And Reinhard Bonke said he was shaking. He was saying, Lord, is this how you have chosen to embarrass me? And he stood and began to preach. And he began to minister to the sick. And people started shouting, blind eyes, I can see. Deaf ears, I can hear. People were rising out of wheelchair. Please continue. Receive the grace to continue. Receive the grace to keep praying. Receive the grace to keep speaking. Hallelujah. Someone can come to your family and say, Kai, this is your family. You will never change. You people are just like this. Keep declaring. With my eyes will I see the salvation of the Lord. Surely there is an end. My tomorrow is better than my today. I will one day be called Beulah and Hephzibah. I am the planting of the Lord. A well watered garden. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. But thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. The Lord is my light and salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid? He won't stop. He won't stop. Till my life looks like him. He won't stop. He won't stop. Till I look just like him. I won't stop. I won't stop. Till I look just like him. I won't stop. I won't stop. Till I look just like him. Please sit down. Key number two and then we'll pray. The first key that can cause remembrance towards you before God and before men is to not be weary in well-doing continue rewarded or not continue commended or not continue understood or not continue number two Isaiah 43 verse 26 thank you Jesus Isaiah 43 and verse 26. Want to read Koinonia? Put me in remembrance. Let us plead together. Declare thou that thou mayest be justified. God is speaking. Put me. Lift up a cry from the earth to heaven and say, Lord, remember. Put me in remembrance. Put me in remembrance are you ready for one powerful scripture you should add to your library 
if there are five scriptures in your library let this be there ah i found this scripture day before yesterday i was meditating it fired like an arrow from my head to my feet i blasted in tongues i said that's right you see the bible said the kingdom of god is like a man who lost his treasure and you find candle and broom you sweep it when you find that you rejoice numbers chapter 10 verse 9 numbers 10 verse 9 look up koinonia and read it with faith in your heart ready one to read and if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppress you then shall ye blow an alarm with the trumpets and ye shall be remembered before the lord your god and ye shall be saved from your enemy i now know what they did in before jericho that when you stand and your enemies overwhelm you lift up the trumpet is the power of praise lift up that trumpet the word is yada praise lifted with understanding that when you see that you are encompassed by enemies and there is no way for victory when you pray in addition to that prayer put god in remembrance then don't disturb him again lift up your trumpet and begin to blast it like the priest that you are go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet go around your jericho while you blast the trumpet and the bible says that sound that shofar will come before god as a memorial this is scripture see let god be true and let every man be a liar hallelujah please take it higher for me look at this scripture he says you shall be remembered before the lord when you lift up your trumpet i just saw a trumpet this is what i saw in the spirit like a sound a shofar my chetona agare kanadogara my let the people praise him he says then shall the earth yield for her increase so the earth can yield when you stand before a barren land he says put me in remembrance then when you are done praying Oh, Paul and Silas, after you pray, sing and let the mighty one that sits upon the throne come and rent the heavens. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. 
the righteous runneth to it like the ark of Noah and they are saved Agarei kanadokara Soyina Agarei kanachikina Listen. The Bible says, though the olive may not produce, they may not be fixed on the vine. He said, yet, yet I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will joy in the God of my salvation. My Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. It says, though weeping and joys for a night. Koinonia, hear me. Joy comes with the morning. Listen, there is one thing I know about God that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, neither has it entered into the heart of man what the Lord has in store for them that love him. But the Bible says he has revealed them that when I praise him, when I lift up a cry and say, Lord, remember me concerning this, when I'm done saying it, I begin to sing and dance like a madman and sing my way to another level and dance my way to another dimension. It does not make sense. He said, I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously. The horses and his rider has been thrown into the sea. Hallelujah. Please hear me. Do not trivialize what you have heard. Do not trivialize this deep mystery. Your destiny helper has a book of remembrance. Men have books of remembrance. Listen, there are things you have done for the kingdom. Some of you have served God. Some of you have prayed. Some of you have helped men. Some of you, your parents lifted people and everybody has forgotten about you. Let me tell you what to do when there are men in your life who can help you and they forget about you. Don't go knocking their offices. You are, you are doing it the wrong way. Go to the God of all flesh, the Father of spirits. Raise a cry before him. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I bring before you this petition. I am a member of welfare department. I am a member of prayer band. I'm a member of worship team. Let God be true. He says to lift up that incense and then begin to sing. Can you open your mouth and begin to blast in tongues? Pray in the spirit. Koinonia, pray. Man of God, pray. Businessman, pray. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please look at me. Esther chapter 6, verse 1. Please, media, help us quickly. Esther chapter 6 and verse 1. And on that night could not the king sleep the same way. Nebuchadnezzar or Zedarius could not sleep because the three Hebrew boys, Daniel, was in the lion's den. Listen, I'd like you to pray in tongues for the next one minute. And listen, this should be your focus when you pray. Father, 
wake everyone sleeping who should be awake to remember me lift your voice and pray in the spirit on that night then could not Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So number one, the king had to wake up. Number two, he commanded to bring the book of remembrance. You are about to pray. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, I stand by the blood. And in the name of Jesus. And I declare tonight let the book of remembrance in heaven and on earth concerning me concerning my reward let it be open now lift your voice and pray <laughs> Hallelujah. Please look up. Look up. Listen. The first time the Spirit of the Lord opened the book of Esther for me. The book of Esther as a book containing a mystery of favor was opened to me. It was a February of that year. The end month I prayed favor I prayed favor into my life I believed it with all my heart because I found it there that books can be open hallelujah now listen but favor is real please hear me don't sit down and waste your time and hate God for nothing favor is very very real hallelujah all blessings come from God through men to you from God through men to you when the book is opened in heaven the spirit opens the book and the bride also opens the book on earth it is the spirit and the bride that tells the world to come 
listen it is not difficult when the book is opened Ahasuerus said what should be done to a man who the king chooses to honor is a choice it's a choice God can choose to honor you Jacob have I loved Esau have I hated there is nothing that can be done when God's jealousy has been invested upon you listen to me believers in Christ we are people who are beloved do you know what it means to be loved that means God has made himself vulnerable to you beloved I have loved thee with an everlasting love he said and I have drawn you with my loving kindness but that the book of remembrance be opened I have seen these books opened even for me I've sat down quietly and suddenly God brings to my mind the names of people not word of knowledge not word of knowledge God does not just tell me their names God connects something they had done to my life and I suddenly become indebted to them I just remember a job cannot exempt you an educational qualification cannot exempt you nothing aside from the operation of the laws of the spirit can exempt you now the bible tells us about abraham who was an idol worshiper that came from a land called or of the chaldeans in genesis chapter 12 the bible tells us how that god told abraham come out of your kindred and your father's house to a land that i will show you he began to propose to abraham how that he would bless him and told abraham i will make you the landlord of the earth something will happen upon your life that will make the earth to become your possession and then in chapter 14 when he went to capture lot and bring him back the bible says he met a strange man called melchizedek who was a king of an ancient city of peace called salem the ancient name for jerusalem the hebrew is jerusalem an ancient city of peace a man according to hebrews with no origin no beginning no end no father no mother a man who was operating in the office of the priesthood and the bible says when abraham encountered this priest a transaction happened between two of them please follow me the bible says abraham took the tent of all and gave unto melchizedek do you believe that he took a tent of all gave unto melchizedek when he gave a tent of all to melchizedek melchizedek received it and did what he activated the blessing he said blessed be abraham son of the most high possessor of the heavens and the earth and at once the earth started working abimelech wanted to take his wife that is a bad situation is that not true but because of the blessing abimelech released the wife and gave him gifts gave him gifts a man one moment you want to take away his wife another moment you not only become his friend you honor him with gifts there is a mystery that governs this creation do you know what we call bad luck you know what we call misfortune misfortune is not just an issue of witchcraft like ancestry misfortune is the resultant effect of taking from the designated portion there is already an authorization whether there are witches in your family or not that every time you touch god's portion you violate a law the earth starts reacting to it at once are you getting blessed now the destiny of abraham was opened up on account of this portion jacob who was the um son from the lineage of abraham watch this jacob worked for laban is that not true laban cheated jacob right he was about to give him a daughter and he said i will work seven years and then he exchanged rachel with leah and he worked for another seven years then he had been with him six years 20 years of oppression from a man but it still didn't matter because something was upon him and he said all right this is what will happen take your spotted calf i will take calves that are not spotted the bible tells us like begets like 
And Jacob said, from the calves that are not spotted, if they give birth, we will watch. If the unspotted calf give birth to spotted children, they are my own. And the Bible says he took ordinary stick. It was not an ordinary stick, brothers and sisters. And the calves who come to mate, just looking at a stick, a white cow or a, 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 a spotless um, animal will now give birth to another animal that is spotted. It is not just creation was working for him. When, so even if you cheated him, something happened. And the cows or the animals started giving birth. And Laban said, my goodness, what is happening? Leave my presence. That is a man who has honored God with his portion. Today I want to show you a dimension of the dominion mystery of titan watch this do you know why many people never walk in kingdom authority many churches are barring producing posters now i'm not against that but i'm saying every week hand bills every week running around scrounging for members threatening people with causes let me tell you why because there is a law that they are violating consistently and God is no respecter of person the laws of the spirit has equal value in any territory equal value is God speaking to us tonight when Moses died please look up everyone when Moses died the Bible tells us how that he told Joshua, he said, Moses, my servant, is dead. And now Mo, uh, uh, Joshua had a responsibility to throw down Jericho. And he was afraid because the Bible tells us that Jericho was a mighty city. Do you know the fence of Jericho? According to scripture, five chariots could stand on the fence. How will you break through that fence? That is a challenge. But he said, I will show you something. Watch this. 5 verse 1 of Joshua open our eyes oh God and let men and women walk away from their chains forever in the name of Jesus Christ five verse one and it came to pass it will be a fast reading when all the kings of the Amorites who were on the side of Jordan westward and all the kings of the Canaanites who were by the sea heard that the Lord had dried up the waters of the Jordan from before the children of Israel until we were passed over that their hearts melted neither was their spirit in them anymore because of the children of Israel. Now watch this. They were about to challenge Jericho and when the other kings had of the mighty things that God did the kings tried to decipher what is it about Israel that makes them always win battles what is it that makes them whether you have a greater armory than them is insignificant they will throw you down there was a mystery of dominion they were working with and God was about to introduce Joshua Joshua was just a young ruler taking over from Moses and this is what he told him let's see the mystery let's take chapter 5 verse 2 5 verse 2 are you there now let's look at it it says at that time the lord said unto joshua do what he said make sharp knives he's about to teach him how to continue in the steps of moses make sharp knives and circumcise again the children of israel the second time let's continue three and joshua made sharp knives and circumcise all the children at the heel of the foreskins and then and this is the reason why he circumcised them all the people that came out of egypt were males even all the men of war they died in the wilderness after they came out of egypt five now all the people that came out were circumcised but all the people that were born in the wilderness by the way when they came forth out of egypt were not circumcised are you seeing that now all those who had been winning and making israel make progress 
it was because they were circumcised but he said these guys are not circumcised and if you don't circumcise them something dangerous is about to happen to you verse 6 it says for the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness and all of that and all of that let's go to verse 7 and their children whom he raised up in their stead them Joshua circumcised for they were uncircumcised because they had not circumcised them by the way verse 8 watch this and it came to pass when they were done circumcising all the people they abode in their places watch this Joshua is afraid of conquering Jericho and the walls that are before him and God said no problem heaven wants to come into your affairs but you need to authorize them it says circumcise the people the moment the circumcision finished verse 9 let's see what happened and the Lord said to Joshua this day I have what rolled away the reproach of Egypt my goodness so all the while they were carrying the reproach because they were not circumcised he said the moment a circumcision a separation a cutting away happened he said this day I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you wherefore the name of the place to this day is called Gilgal go to verse 13 let's see something mysterious that happened verse 13 everyone look up manda kaparato kasitaya and it came to pass listen joshua was by jericho that he lifted up his eyes immediately after circumcision he saw a strange man who came and said i'm ready to partner with you you have invited the realm of the spirit into your affair that man had been there all the while but there was no access he said you need help you can't conquer jericho by your strength the realm of the spirit wants to partner with you but the secret is the circumcision the moment it happened the bible says he lifted up his eyes and he saw a man with a sword and he went to him and said are you for us or against us next verse and he said nay but i come i'm also a warrior but i fight in the spirit the same way you guys are warriors i am also a captain i lead a battalion i help men on earth who invite us to come you are seated on the throne and he said and Joshua fell on his face and did worship and he said unto him what saith my Lord to his servant next verse watch this and the captain of the Lord's host said unto Joshua lose thy shoe from off your foot from the place you stand this holy ground and Joshua did so next verse now Jericho was straightly short watch this let me just save our time are you noticing what is happening here immediately after the circumcision he saw the captain then the captain started revealing to him the strategy this is how you will take jericho otherwise they would have died there because physically speaking jericho was insurmountable now watch this your tight in the spirit is similar to this spiritual circumcision your tight it's an authorization for the realm of the spirit to come into your affairs and partner with you this is the reason why even human beings for men men because men are the carriers of the seed men are instructed to be circumcised why not sir? how can a man come from heaven we believe children are the heritage of the lord but you will give birth to a man and he will still go to circumcision are you getting the point now because the moment circumcision happens the realm of the spirit comes come come watch this you are on your own minding your business trying to win the war of life by yourself and god is saying you are doing this thing sensually you are doing this thing carnally you never will be able to do it he says honor me with your tithe and the moment that happens there is already a spiritual arsenal that comes to work with you and that which you have becomes supernatural not just natural not just natural it becomes supernatural 
the reason why there is a crowd of people inside and outside look at this right to the road right everywhere let me tell you the reason why it is not just because this is a great ministry it is because we have beckoned on the assistance of the supernatural there are some people standing outside who are even shocked that they are here when you see them you imagine there is no amount of invitation you would have given them to come but for the realm of the spirit he said i am come as a captain in other words the same way you fight there are spiritual arsenals to wait in you have been trying to fight every battle in your life just by using physical arsenals and the lord is saying the earth is fighting you when you return my designated portion you authorize the realm of the spirit to begin to help you this ministry by the grace of god we are faithful never for any reason and by any means under the sun will we touch god's portion not out of fear but out of revelation my life as a person god is my witness that i honor him and that portion that belongs to him this is why i'm dangerously protected it's not about a man no 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 dangerously protected i share with you a simple but powerful mystery when pastor jakes was sharing and he said they picked somebody from his position and makes him a deputy manager deputy manager with interviews on phone you went to school and you are intelligent is that how it is done let me tell you the blessing breaks the rules for you it breaks the rules for you yes when men say it cannot be done it breaks the rules the problem is that we are too carnal we have intellectualized life life is spiritual say it after me one more time shout it like you believe it life is spiritual all that you see is not all that there is those who are controlling this world are those who have an advantage of the spirit you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh you are seated on the throne tonight God is asking you are you ready to stop struggling in life let me tell you struggling is a cause if you ever convince yourself that God is the author of your struggle I am telling you now struggling is a cause it's a cause from the pit of hell you will never be able to serve God if all you are doing in your life is looking for money because money is not missing you were never supposed to look for it hallelujah you will never be able to serve god if you allow this mammon the spirit that takes the heart of men away from god to begin to pursue other things trying to look for earthly relevance there are people who want to build a house but they want to build it physically by putting blocks you will die trying to build that house because there is a spiritual dimension to everything give us james chapter 2 verse 26 i hope we'll be able to find it i'm reserving it for next week by the way next week friday here is going to be a powerful vigil hallelujah yes next week is going to be a vigil it's going to be a time of prayer and worship we're inviting guests from all over now watch this the Lord showed me this mystery and it changed my life. I shared it in Abuja. I was reserving it to start the teaching next week. But your hunger has tempted me to go to that scripture. And let's, let's touch it a bit. Paul. Watch this. Oh, sorry, James. The apostle, James, was teaching on faith and works. Corresponding action. Is that true? And while he was teaching on faith and works, he just feared off and brought a powerful principle in an attempt to explain faith and work he, com he, he compares it with something he says for as the body without what a spirit now all of you watch this guy 
the only reason that I can interact with him is because there is a spirit is that true if the spirit leaves this body what happens I will reject the body all of you will reject the body are you getting me and we will have to bury him because it is a body though complete it has no spirit are you getting me now I want you media please keep it there keep it there so that we'll... I want you to remove the word us and just read just the first line to the comma are you ready want to read one more time one more time for the body without the spirit is dead it is said for the body of man for any material thing that does not have a spiritual force backing it it is dead for any material business without a spirit equivalent is dead for any church without a spirit agency backing it is like a dead body it says for a body without a spirit so the nation of israel was like a body without a spirit and he said joshua you will lose you need the spirit component and circumcision authorized the spirit when the realm of the spirit came they said let's go we can take jericho and with one shout this was what david knew that as big as goliath was he was a body without a spirit the other people were looking from the three-dimensional realm ah goliath was shouting and david looked at him he said i see a body but there is no covenant no spirit what is the force in the spirit backing you and goliath said am i a dog even if you fight me honor me and david said you are joking you don't know who is talking i'm not alone I, I, you are an uncircumcised see the word again see the word again you are an uncircumcised i would have been afraid of you i would have considered your threat if you were circumcised where is the ties that connects you to the realm of the spirit and he said i'm circumcised i may be weak but there is a government that backs me when you get this key my brother you will run as if satan does not exist i promise you i promise you this you can jump around for deliverance you can hop from everywhere but the body without a spirit is dead so your boss in the office knows this and there is a spirit that backs his chair you just get up with your your certificate and sit on that chair and it becomes too hot because all in that office is not just a chair it's a throne there are spirits back in it that's why the bible said they that knew their god they that have connected with a spiritual advantage they shall be strong shall do experience rise from the realm of being natural and tap into the supernatural realm where the realm of the spirit assists you and your life will be nothing short of a wonder how many people listen i have given up on trying to do things by my strength because i know i'm wasting my time the body in the same way the next time somebody stands and threatens you that is a body without a spirit see no matter what talk people talk i only consider you if you are connected spiritually are you getting what i'm saying i will deal with you the body without the spirit is dead i will make sure you leave this job the body without the spirit is dead you only pay attention to a man who has risen beyond the three-dimensional realm because there is an assistance whether demonic or whatever are you getting me circumcision is that key there are many who continue ah we have a an extent we are going to be touching on the matters of the kingdom next week friday i'll be showing you certain secrets of the kingdom that it will make you almost like a drunk man 
you will get up and jump and shout tonight all we are doing in this miracle service is by an ancient mystery crying and asking heaven and say Lord behold the sick people and already in this place there are more angels the arsenals in the realm of the spirit are more than what you know that's always what happens whenever you see me come to sit down I smile around the stage I would have died of hypertension if I'm responsible for your healing but we have made arrangement already we are covered oh yes absolutely we are covered heaven is jealous jealous to protect his own because God's designated portion listen when you steal your tight you have not only destroyed your destiny you have stolen from your children every time you don't tight just know that your firstborn is in trouble if you don't do it again you are affecting your children because he said I will pour you a blessing you will not have room in other words no matter how greedy you are your lifetime cannot exhaust it so when you steal you have endangered the destiny of your children God's portion if anyone ever told you tithing is all about money that person lied to you or was sincerely wrong tithing has nothing to do with money it's the law of open heavens let me surprise you if your tithe is 10,000 and you carry 1 million and give charity foundation and you don't tithe that 10,000 you are operating under a closed heaven don't convince yourself that because you gave 1 million the heavens is open it is called due process I'll teach you next week there is a protocol to spiritual things are you getting my point tithing is what opens your heavens and then anything you do under that open heavens will prosper if you like carry one billion give charity organization give for the building of church if you are not a tighter I guarantee you the Bible says your heaven shall be brass and your earth iron all of them are conductors of heat get set for heat in your life when the heaven is open if not if for nothing we know there is ventilation fresh air the wind comes but when your heaven is brass and your earth is iron many of us here no matter what prayer happens in this that's why we took the communion the devourer is authorized to destroy anyone who is not spiritually circumcised the devourer is not a demon the devourer is a principality even jesus christ acknowledged them that's why he said he is the head of principalities it destroys men's lives on legal basis this earth is too wicked for you to allow chance no i pray for people all the time people with cancers hiv tuberculosis communicable diseases imagine if i refuse to be faithful i would die like a chicken because most times i lay hands on people and there are medical doctors here they know that some of these things are physically not healthy but i'm circumcised my goodness you invoke my name in a shrine both the invoker the invokee and the ordinance it they will burn to ashes ashes no matter how mad a man is he doesn't enter fire by mistake he can cross the road and you say he's a madman but when he sees fire he fears off when heaven backs you let me tell you your life becomes a wonder even to you this ministry is a wonder to everyone not just because we are so smart we are just stupid enough to involve the realm of the spirit because by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on your throne oh sing oh fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on your throne You are mighty on your own. Break forth, O oh Spirit of the deep. Cry out, God, you are 
Mighty on your throne, mighty on your throne. You are 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 mighty in this place. 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 You are mighty in my life. 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 Hallelujah. We are going to pray just two prayer points and then I'll begin to minister. You are mighty in this place. They that are with us are greater, greater, greater. Mantos Kalabandigalia. There shall no man be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Prayer point number one. Oh God. By the blood I cry for mercy. Where I have allowed the devourer. I have stolen from my tithe. Your designated portion. I have allowed the devil deceive me. That the tithe is a gimmick by preachers. Now I realize. And I ask for your mercy. Lift your voice and pray. Inside and outside. Lift your voice. Your tithe. Is your spiritual circumcision. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Ask for fresh grace. Oh. And make a vow that you will never miss out on your tithe again. Make, make a vow. Not by fear. Not by Listen, 
I give you an assurance and I pledge the name of the Lord upon this if you take what I've shared tonight for many of you this is your secret is your password to a mysterious level of lifting a level of lifting that will surprise you as much as surprise those who are your spectators God's portion the time his designated portion that makes creation to walk in your favor makes your enemies to walk in your favor mysterious but powerful consistent hallelujah just one more prayer and then we'll trust to see the mighty things that the Lord is going to do I want you to lift your voice in one minute we are going to pray in the next five minutes listen I want you to confront the gates of your destiny and I want you to pray and say you must open up this night lift your voice it's the seventh month the gates of my destiny must open up by the power of the Holy Ghost 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 one more prayer because I see the angels of the Lord already moving let me just add one more prayer listen I want you to pray listen there are giants on every mountain every one of us is holding a prayer request because there is an aspect of your life the devil has refused to let you go but tonight I want you to lift up your voice and prophesy to the heavens and challenge those powers and say I must go tonight lift your voice inside and outside cry I must walk away from that carrying out disease must die today. That cancer must die today. That HIV must go today. That barrenness must go today. That stagnation must go today. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Pray. Something is happening in the realm of the spirit. Oh, 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 o
Hallelujah. Now, before I begin ministering, please, can I have that family if they are here? The family that came with the poison person. Are they here? Please, let's save time. If they are here, just signify by wave of hand and then run out here quickly. There's a lot to do tonight. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. While that is happening, I want everybody to follow up on your prayer request. If you are here to write, please one minute so that when we begin to flow, we just move and we don't stop. So you have one minute while you are praying in tongues. Just write your prayer request very quickly. So that when it's time to pass it, you just pass it very fast. Manta la dosa so predisci la coria da balanabas. Make sure you don't keep silent. Write the issues that have threatened you and watch the God of heaven turn them into testimonies. What can I do? I can leave without you. I can leave without you. So tell me, what can I do? I can leave without you. I can oh, leave oh, without you. Oh, 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 tonight and we declare that this atmosphere is completely under the influence of the Holy Spirit and that everybody here within this vicinity comes under the influence of the Spirit. Lord that no one will walk out of this place without a touch of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I'm going to begin to minister to us and while I prayed for this in the course of the week, again and again, I kept seeing, please pay attention. Can I have strings, 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 strings? Hallelujah. I kept seeing again and again, spirits, watch this, spirits leeching onto people. This is what I kept seeing. Like a man sitting on a man's shoulder. I saw this over many people. And I said, Lord, what is the meaning of this? And the Lord began to, re to reveal to me that these are the spirits that cause setbacks upon the lives of men and upon the lives of families. And the Lord said, when I come up, he said, the first thing I should do is dislodge those powers. Dislodge those powers. I saw them like a man, like a child will sit down on the shoulder of another, bringing a resistance to your destiny. And I'm about to pray for you right now. There are so many people under the sound of my voice. So many people under the sound of my voice. They must go. Heaven is here to assist us. Lift your hands everyone. Inside and outside. There will be such mighty deliverances outside. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I even see someone. Um, uh, 
suffering from severe migraine but then that migraine you think is just sickness we are about to make a shout brothers and sisters this shout is like the sling of david it looks ordinary but there is a circumcision upon it it's a shout that rises beyond the earth realm it's a shout that rises beyond the intelligence of men it's a shout that is like a battle sound to the angelic it's like a battle sound because your destiny must open up right now there will be mighty deliverances mighty deliverances hallelujah i'm going to pray for us and then at the count of three we are going to shout that name jesus my goodness i sense the anointing of the spirit heavy the power of god will fall upon many of you in a mighty way and you will see this spirit some of you are already feeling uncomfortable it's the power of god especially many outside there will be mighty deliverances lift your hands now thank you jesus father in the name of your son i pray right now and i sound an alarm in the realm of the spirit i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost that the fire of the spirit oh restrain not your hand oh mighty one we pray that you arise as a man of war there are destinies at the mercy of your touch i pray that by this shout oh god there be a visitation that by this shout oh god everyone here under any spirit help them please help them bring them out everyone here under any influence as we shout let fire catch them and visit their foundations and i command every power that at this shout you will let god's people go inside and outside one two three shout that name i command witchcraft powers of darkness right now right now in the name of jesus inside and outside inside and outside inside and outside the fire of god is falling on people falling on people i cause witchcraft I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. I cause witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. Lift your hands. Malatata. I'm seeing altars on fire. That's what I see in the spirit. Please bring them out. Altars on fire. One more time, we are going to shout. Physically, many of you will feel the fire physically physically right now in the name of jesus one two three jesus! oh yes that fire that fire that fire of the holy ghost brings deliverance outside 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 miracles are happening miracles are happening mighty deliverances by the power of the holy ghost you must let them go you must let them go right now by fire Hallelujah. Lift your hands. There are people here. As I begin to speak, the Holy Ghost will locate them. I'm seeing ladies. Ladies, a man comes to you in the night and sleeps with you right now by fire. Oh God, locate them right now, right now, right now. I cause that spirit. I cause that spirit. Ladies, ladies, a miracle is happening to sisters. I cause those spirits. I cause those spirits. Outside, the fire is falling on ladies, falling on men. 
I'm seeing a family in the vision of the Lord. Everyone in that family has been tied down by witchcraft. Lord, where is that person in this place? Inside and outside. Right now as I speak, the power of God comes upon that person. Right now, wherever that person is, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, the power of God comes upon that person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. This is what the Lord is telling me. As we begin to pray, miracles will start happening. Lift your voice and break every chain holding you down. Go ahead. This is what God is telling me. my spirit families families God is stepping into families there are altars there are altars over families that are about to be broken as you are standing right now God is going to be visiting your family at that shout again inside and outside make sure you are participating inside and outside we are going to shout that name as you shout the name of Jesus families I see altars on fire are you ready now father any family under the yoke of bondage as they shout this name let there be a visitation one two three Jesus families be free now Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and ask him for a visitation again. Something serious is happening in this place. <laughs> hallelujah hallelujah lift your hands i'm hearing marital spells marital spells please lift your hands 
listen hear me something mighty is about to happen here the lord is ministering to me that there are people who there are spells tying down their marriages whether single or married right now lift your hands as i begin to speak the wind i see like a wind a whirlwind moving across this auditorium oh. it will catch up with some people right now where are they oh god visit them right now in the name of jesus one more time we will shout that day wherever they are one two three jesus hearing a name Dorcas Dorcas a miracle is coming Dorcas an altar is on fire and I'm hearing the Lord telling me a miracle Dorcas Dorcas come and stand here hallelujah Who is Israel? I'm hearing a name Israel. Israel, the Lord is ministering to me. Tonight, He must let you go. Let you go. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord is showing me a woman. You are here. You had a miscarriage. There is a woman here who had a miscarriage. It's like you had a child and you lost the baby. And the Lord is telling me, please help them, those under the anointing, so that we don't, this place is not rowdy. Listen, let me tell you something. The anointing of the spirit does not make the difference. The anointing is the difference. The anointing does not make the difference. Without the anointing, we are just making noise here. But by the anointing, and I'm telling you this, no matter where you are, whether you are inside here or outside or right at the back, I want you to connect because God is visiting you. And every one of you must have a touch. Dorcas, where is your mother, my dear? Huh? I'm not busy, sir. No, I'm not saying, She's where is she? Mina, just She's in Mina. Yes, we have to pray because the Lord is bringing a mighty breakthrough for your family. Do you believe that? Do you believe that? Hold my hands. Father, change the story of this lady by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. As I hold your hands, I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that the Lord sets you free. Madam, look at me. Where is your husband? At home. Huh? He's at home. Why didn't he come with you? Because there is a breakthrough that is a portion for him in this meeting. Amen. But I'm going to pray for you. Yes, you believe that? Yes, sir. You believe that? Yes, sir. Because this is delay. Yes. I'm seeing delay in your yes, family. Sir. Serious yes, delay. Yes, it's even becoming an issue of argument between you and your husband. Yes, sir. I'm seeing two of you arguing. Yes, sir. But the Lord is saying he is bringing rest to your yes, family. Sir. This Amen, in sir. the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Father, let there be rest. Rest for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are doctors. Where is your mother, my dear? 
you. She stays in Kaduna. Why? The same way you are crying is how I'm seeing your mother crying in the realm of the spirit. And the Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is saying, why wouldn't she cry when the load is too much on her? Look at me. Like we shared, tell your mother to get back into faithfulness in tithing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And even you, yourself, otherwise you will keep seeing repeated hardship. But hold my hands in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring rest to this lady. Bring rest to her in the name of Jesus Christ. Can, where is the woman that had a miscarriage? There is a woman that had a miscarriage. And the Lord is asking me to minister to her. We may not be able to minister to everybody, but there is, there is someone. Please make sure you don't sit back. The Lord is ministering to me about that person. So that we'll just, we'll just pray for her. Dogara. Dogara. I'm hearing a name, Dogara. Dogara. Who is Dogara? You? Your name is Dogara? Yes, sir. Where's your dad? He's at home in Kaduna. He's, he's at home. Kaduna. We have to pray for him. What I'm seeing will never... If they are permitting anything, please, um, please maybe carry them out. Of We're about to pray, please. Don't worry. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now over and I cause that spirit that wants to bring accident. In the name of Jesus, it will not come to pass. We cancel it right now by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Madam, I want to pray for you. The way I'm holding your hands, that's the way the Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's going to begin to hold your hands and that he will cause you to move forward in your life. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, he's bringing restoration to your life and he's bringing joy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let it be. You are the one with miscarriage. Why did you sit back? Now come. There's nothing embarrassing about it, madam. This is a family. Because I'm seeing another one happening and we must pray for you. Yes, sir. It's happening again. Yes. We have to cancel it. Okay. Eh? Yes, sir. It's not a normal thing that you are having miscarriage. Yes, sir. Because there is a spirit that oppresses you. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And that's what is responsible for that miscarriage. It's not just about praying, praying and saying, pray for me. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, it takes the anointing of the Holy Spirit. He will give birth to a baby boy. Oh. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that this family will experience your touch. Madam, lay, lay your hands on your stomach. Father, there will not be miscarriage again in the name of Jesus. That's right. I see the spirit. Let her go right now. Right now, release her completely. I set her free. Lord, you showed me a baby boy. Confirm your word by the power of the Holy Spirit. Why are they here? Dorcas, your name is Dorcas too. Your name is Dorcas too. Your daughter's name. Just stand up, pray for all of you. You are Israel. I'm going to pray for you. Are you a student? We have to pray because I'm seeing the devil attacking your academics. Attacking your academics very seriously. So that they will not begin to tell you your scripts are missing. Huh? And then they will implicate you in the malpractice. The Lord is asking me to minister to you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare by the anointing of the Holy Spirit that this is broken. You are all Israel. And I'll pray with you. Let her go right now. I curse you by the God of heaven. Release her right now and let her go. Right now. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at this woman but in the realm of the spirit all I'm seeing is a large snake. That's all I'm seeing moving around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Where's the usher? Ushers. Lay your hands on this lady. Just do what I do. I curse that spirit. You must release her right now in the name that is above all names there is no hiding place the light of god is against you in the name of jesus christ there is no hiding place for you by the blood of jesus christ you must release this woman is a spirit of death let her go right now in the name of jesus christ father may they experience your touch in the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience your touch. In the name of Jesus Christ. May they experience, I curse that spirit. Let her go. 
let her go right now in the name of Jesus Christ your baby snake in the name of Jesus Christ I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit there is liberty for this boy there is liberty in the name of Jesus Christ there is liberty hallelujah now all those who were brought out here under the anointing I want to, I want to speak to them now don't worry everyone out here I speak to the spirits that are tormenting you you know my voice I represent the most high at the count of three leave them and go right now one two go 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 out of them out out of their lives out now never to return at your Lord live their lives live their destinies restoration of virtue of grace I cost that spirit from its foundation I cost it for the blood of Jesus hallelujah all those who are trusting God for jobs lift your hands I see a strange anointing in this place please don't withhold your hand don't withhold your hand. There is an anointing. There is an anointing. Sister, you looking at me. Rejoice. I see an appointment letter given to you. You. This lady looking at me. You. Come. I'm talking to her. You are turning back. You. Come, 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 come. I see an appointment letter given to you. There will be mighty miracles of jobs. Hallelujah, come. This is the person I'm talking about. Because I was praying and before I would even start, I saw them handing over to you something that looks like an appointment letter. Right? You believe me? You believe me? You will see it and you will stand before God's people to testify. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. The Lord says I should tell you he's rolling away your reproach, madam. The reproach of many years is being rolled away in this season. That's what the Lord is saying I should tell you. The reproach of many years is being rolled away. I'm seeing like a bola. That's what I'm seeing. A trash place where they pour dirt. And I'm seeing a new seed shooting out. And that's what is, that's, that's like a type of your destiny. And the Lord is saying I should tell you he's rolling away the reproach from your life. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands and let's release miracle job. If you don't believe in it, put down your hand. Hallelujah. I command you by the blood of Jesus, you foul spirit, you have oppressed this body. In the name of Jesus. I break your covenant. I break your ordinance. There is a strong spirit that has been oppressing this lady. It's not just her. Can you look at how many people holding one tiny lady? I curse you. Now, I curse you. I curse you by the God of heaven and I curse you by my office in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that power. Let her go now. Right now. Release her destiny. Release her family now. By the blood of the eternal covenant. She's free. Go. Release her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me tell you something. Listen, listen. People of God, don't think we are playing games here. I know you may see some of the things happening. These are the powers that have tied down men's life. It's not solved by counseling. You are just moving in the physical, yet in the realm of the spirit you are bound. We are not embarrassed. We are never embarrassed to set people free. Because that's what Jesus said. There's got to be a way of setting people free. Hallelujah. Father, jobs now. In the name that is above all names. 
I want you to receive it as a prophecy over your life. Lord, I declare everyone called jobless here by the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now. Amen. By the favor of God I terminate joblessness right now. Amen. Anyone who has applied for any job I compel them to call you. I compel them to call your loved ones. I compel them to favor you. Hallelujah. Do we have anyone here called Agnes? Agnes. I'm hearing a name, Agnes. The Lord is ministering to me about one Agnes. We we'll begin to pray for the sick shortly. Agnes. I'm hearing the name Agnes. God is ministering to me. He wants to bring deliverance to the family of Agnes. Do we have anyone there? Agnes. Your name is Agnes. Your name too. The family member. Okay, I'm going to pray for you. We'll begin to pray for the sick after this. Father, in the name of Jesus, bring breakthrough for this family. You showed me that you're visiting this family. Go ahead and confirm your word with signs following. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you. Whoever is Agnes in your family, let there be a miracle. In the name of Jesus. I want to begin to pray for the sick, but I'm seeing a very serious situation here. There's someone here with a swollen leg. I don't know who that person is. Your leg, mysteriously, paining you and it looks it's, it's like swollen. This is what I see in the vision that the Lord is showing me. Who is that person? Your leg is swollen. Where is it? Which of the legs? Look what, look, if, if the devil, you remember I told you this, a body without the spirit, look what is happening to this girl. And then you just come and marry her because you think you want a wife. Are you seeing that? Is, is, if it can, Look at one, two, three, four, five people holding one person. Imagine what it would do to someone's destiny. I say this without a sense of cynicism. Many of the people that God is setting free attend churches every week. Look, we need to restore the power of God in our churches and stop playing games with God. Because God's idea is not just for one platform. Hallelujah. Swollen legs. No, no, no. Don't, you, don't, you don't have to. Madam, I see you too. Your legs. For how long? What's the situation with her? Is her leg swollen? Okay, hold on. She can't walk. Baby, how are you? Hallelujah. Please help us with the mic. Who brought her? Okay, no, it's okay, it's okay. What's your name? Annie. Annie? Your name is Anne. Agnes. Alice. Your name is Alice. You can't walk. You can walk, but your leg is bent. Oh my goodness, look at such an innocent lady. Lord, have mercy on this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that the Lord will visit you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let her go back when I begin to pray for the sick. Then we we'll let them come out. I'm just ministering to special cases. Leg, your leg. All of you who had a dream, in a dream, it's like something was shot. It's like I don't know if it was an arrow. I'm seeing something that looks like a dream, and something was shot on your legs. 
if the person is not here, I'm seeing someone who had that dream. It's like, I don't know if it was like a gun or something, or, an, uh, or a, 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 a sharp object. I know that it was, it's like it was shot to your leg. Something beat me when I was sleeping. I just broke up and screamed. So blood was coming out of my legs. I'll pray for you, but this one I'm seeing, I just want to flow as the Holy Spirit is directing me. It's like, it, it looks like a gun or something sharp. Huh? I was shot in the realm of the spirit. In my dream. You were shot. Fired at you. Yes. And what happened to you? I only I prayed when I woke up. You the prayed dream. when you woke up. From the, dream. the Lord is going to set you free. I know that I've talked to you once, but truly, truly, there is a spirit of delay and stagnation in your life. Because you love God, and God is going to use you in many ways. Not just in the area of the anointing, but even in the area of finances. But as it is, there are many things that are not moving in your life. Lift your hands, let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, the reason why you redeem is so that we will be free. I pray that you set this gentleman free by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Everything that was fired on your leg in Jesus' name, I curse it. Jesus name. What's happening to you, madam? My leg is shaking. Your leg? Yes. What happened? It's just paining you or it's swollen? It's paining a bit. It's a, for me to stand or to walk. Almost two years. It's broken for Almost two years. Which of the legs? This one. What can't you do? I, I can't stand. You can't stand straight. It's a problem for me, yes. Is it that it's shorter than another or what was the issue? It's not shorter than another. Okay. It's the same. It's cut to coach. Why is she here? She's your daughter. My father was shot in a dream by an arrow. It, according to my dad, it entered his tie and came and out came out. the other This is tie. the person I'm talking about. Yes, and it, huh? it caused a physical wound on his tie up to the present. This guy Where is, is he? Here. Is he here? He's in Lagos, sir. He's in Lagos? Yes, sir. You believe God will touch him? Yes, sir. When I pray for you, call him and tell him yes, that he's been prayed for. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, because sir. this is witchcraft. Where are you from? I'm from Benue State. What's your name? My name is Kate. Kate? Yes, sir. From Benue State. Hold yes, my hands. Father, visit this family. You have revealed this in the name of Jesus. I curse this witchcraft. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it leave your father never to return by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Madam, you believe Jesus will heal you? Yes, I do. You believe with all your heart? Yes. Madam, what's your situation? I have nail pains. Since Knee. I, yes, since I feel sick, they used to swell up. Since so I can't you... Walk. Since I was sick for six months, but well, he used to swell up. But now I can't walk. I can walk and be feeling sharp pain. Where? Where is the sharp pain? Okay. How about you? My leg is swollen for five years. Five years. I cannot stand. Anymore. Where is? Which one is swollen? Oh, I see. You can't stand. I can't stand for long. For a long time. Mama, how about you? I'm not two months now. I started. Two, two months. Yes. What's happening? I have arthritis. You have arthritis. Yes. Who else? Who again? Leg problem. Leg problem. All of you, I'm going to pray for you too. Your legs yes. swollen. Oh, you are the one who said something beat you. Ah, you are a worker in this place. Let's challenge that devil. She's a worker in this house. There is an immunity. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that this will never return to her again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Never return to her by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to pray for you. And I want you to check yourselves after I pray for you. In the name of Jesus. Sister, five years your leg has been swollen. Permanently like that. Have you gone to the hospital? What did they tell you? Nothing was wrong. Eh? Nothing was wrong. Nothing is wrong. Because when a thing is spiritual, no matter what happens in the physical, you may not be able to get an equivalent, um, a, a something to be able to treat. But Father, in the name of Jesus, we cause witchcraft. This is like, right? In the name of Jesus Christ, I command freedom, freedom for your legs. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of witchcraft. Mama, I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I pray for you right now. Every wicked spirit leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Lay your hands on your chest. The Lord is bringing you deliverance right now. In the name of Jesus. This is witchcraft. For five years, I'm seeing a spirit. Go! Go! In the name of Jesus. You can't remain in her. The swollen legs, I command the swelling to go down. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Mama, I pray for your leg. In Jesus' name. I pray for your leg. That's where the pain is. Just lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause the pain by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please check yourselves. Check yourselves. Check yourselves. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. And tell me if there's any improvement. How many of us came here either for ourselves or for our loved ones to be healed? Specifically in the area of healing. Let me just see your hands. Inside and outside, can you just wave it to the Lord? How many of you came here to be healed? Okay, very quickly, while the worship team leads us in a powerful worship session, want all the sick people to make their way right now. Just, just guide all the people that are under the anointing. Just shift them. Don't drag them around. Please, let's do that very quickly. Make your way out and just stand in a straight line and trust God for a miracle. trusting God for healings and miracles I sincerely pray with all my heart that every church and every assembly of God will permit the power of God to operate in their place it is not a thing of pride to have so many look at literally maybe hundreds of people right outside there is a long queue and we'll have to minister to these people it's not God's idea to have one superstar it's just that many people especially men of God are unwilling to press into the dimensions that bring them to the possibilities we are going to do this very very fast all of you who are sitting make sure you are connected and um, you are participating while we are ministering to the sick I want you to pass your prayer request ushers you can walk around please make sure all those outside even those on the roadside make sure that we receive their prayer request because I will be laying hands on it immediately afterwards myself and Pastor Jax will be ministering to you Whatever your challenge is, I want you to believe God. While you're standing, lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I will not return back with this sickness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I stretch my hands over your people. Let your healing power deliver and save. The Lord is healing someone of pile. I'm seeing someone that has suffered pile for a long time. The Lord is healing you right now. You may be in the healing line, but the Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. Please make your way. Make your way. It doesn't matter who lays hands on you. There is a corporate anointing in this place. Hallelujah. Please, as soon as we lay hands on you, just go this way very quickly. There are people right to the back outside so that we'll hurry up. And there are still other things we need to do. Praise God. what is wrong with you just the laying on of hands the anointing of the spirit is like a drug the moment it enters your body it begins to work and it brings you healing you will notice that some people are standing for healing but as soon as hands are laid on them devils are coming out because they are the causes of these infirmities Christ. Holy, holy, 
Pass yours, please. Just do it quickly. Can we all rise? As many as can rise, please, inside and outside. It's a very prophetic moment right now. Jesus, my heart will sing. No other name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
will sing my heart will sing no other name Those outside, can we have it quickly? No other name, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. We just have five minutes to do this. Listen, I assure you, this is the place where God answers prayers. Hallelujah. I may not be able to minister to everyone individually, but I want you to know that this is a representation of your heart's desire. This is a representation of why you are here. And I'm going to lay my hands as, on as much as possible as a point of contact. All I want you to do is stretch your hands here and begin to receive answers to your prayer. Go ahead. Go ahead. Stretch your hands as I pray on this. Now God is greater. Our God is stronger. Just play the tune while we pray. Stretch your hands and receive. Lord we are praying please make sure you are praying outside stretch your hands towards the screen say Lord I receive it I receive it lift your hands and stretch your hands here and pray Pray from the depth of your heart. All kinds of miracles by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. All kinds of miracles. Thank you for your glory. Even as these prayer points, Lord, are lifted up to you, Lord. As your people look up to you, Lord. They look up to you, Lord, from whence their help cometh from my Father. I ask you, Lord, that you send angels, Lord. You send answers, my Father. I pray that God doors that are yet to be opened, be opened. My Father, I pray for healings, Lord. Healings or terminal cases, Lord, let it be turned. Lord, where people said, there's no way, my Father, we pray that doors, Lord, you create streams in wilderness places. My Father, Lord, for people that cast away, my Father, Lord, you make them renowned by the power of your spirit. We ask for your hand to rest upon your people. Lord, we ask that, Lord, miracles, miracles, Lord, will be given to your people. Answers to prayers, Lord, prayer points that have been pending for many years. We ask that God, 
doors be open lord let miracles lord flow into this house in the name of jesus testimonies we are bound in great ways lord unprecedented miracles lord we pray in the name of jesus we ask for healings we ask that lord people that are insane you cause them to be sane in the name of jesus we pray for contract that long delayed lord we pray that lord will be awarded by the power of your spirit in the name of jesus and we pray for a shield of protection over your saints lord in the name of jesus we ask for a revitalization of spiritual lives by the power of your spirit let the fire of god call come on cold altars in the name of jesus let there be healings and touches in families in the blessed name of jesus we give you praise we give you glory but the great and mighty things you will do amongst us lord we give you praise blessed father for we know all our prayers have been answered by the power of your spirit we thank you in the name of jesus we pray hallelujah hallelujah if you believe that your request has been turned into a testimony, I'd like you to shout a loud hallelujah. Shout a loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. A loud hallelujah. 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 For many of you, it will be like you are dreaming when you will watch one by one by one by one by one by one. By one. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's by the anointing. It's not by English. Burdens are destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. This last segment, you've heard me say it again. This is the most powerful and most impactful segment. If you're not a man of the spirit, you may not understand what I'm saying. Please help them. This is the most powerful of this segment right now. Before we go into this where I begin to prophesy. There are two dimensions to prophecy. There is the revelatory dimension of prophecy. That dimension of prophecy gives you direction. But the stronger dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension. That's when things that are not become by the power of the spoken word. Never joke with the power of prophecy. That's the power that created the heavens and the earth. He said, I prophesied as I was commanded. Before we do that very quickly, everyone inside and outside, there are people here tonight who are saying, man of God, I want to commit my life to the Lord. I've seen the miracles. I've seen the signs and wonders, but my way is not right with the Lord. You know that right now, as you're standing here, if the trumpet sounds, you're not making heaven. You know it right now. Having a Christian name is not the same as having a relationship with Jesus. There are some you've given your heart to the Lord at one time. Please help those under the anointing. I tell you there will be a powerful impartation right now. I sense a heavy anointing on me already. That's why I'm doing this very quickly. Now if you are here, please don't delay us. You are saying I want to return home. For whatever reason you found yourself living the ways of God and you are saying Lord I have heard your word and I'm not ashamed to make Jesus my Lord there are people in this auditorium young and old there are people by all the overflows right to the roadside no matter how far you are hearing my voice it should not be too far right now I'll just count one to five please run like you are running away from death run like there's fire on the mountain one inside and outside the devil is a liar tonight don't let any spirit stop you Tori. hallelujah hallelujah keep coming god bless you you have won it all for me hallelujah Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Sing Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have won. Keep coming, keep coming. Please hurry up and catch up with us. 
of the Lord. I appreciate every one of you for coming out. This is the way to the cross. Listen, no matter what you achieve in life, if your eternal destiny is not secured, it says this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life. But he said this life is in his son until you have the son you do not have that life lift your right hand forget about who is looking at you and in the name of jesus i want you to pray this prayer from the depth of your heart you are not reciting a poem it's not a special number this is a decision there's one of you here you smoke all these kinds of things it go and the rest ah huh? but as you pray this prayer the power is broken over your life say after me as loud as you can from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i love you with all my heart and with everything within me this night i make jesus lord of my life i repent of my sins I declare that eternal life comes into my spirit I am born again I'm a child of God from today the power of sin the power of the flesh is broken over me my past is gone and it's over forever I am a new creation in Christ in the name of Jesus the power of sin is broken over my life in the name of jesus i receive of your life in jesus name i pray now i stretch my hands over you and i declare the power of sin is broken over your life in the name of jesus every yoke that has tied you down lets you go forever in the name of jesus i declare that is a new season for you everything that is a habit and a challenge in your life i release you from it right now every covenant and ordinance of darkness that is the foundation of your trouble by the blood of jesus it is wiped away i set you free i break you free from every wrong association that keeps you in sin in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah i want to congratulate all of you for making this decision this is the greatest decision you would ever make in your life hallelujah now very quickly so that you catch up with us in this prophetic session i want you to follow the gentlemen waving their hands they will have your details and then we'll follow you up very closely praise the lord just follow them koinonia celebrate them as they go all of you this way this way just follow the gentlemen now everybody rise please i want you to receive this prophetic word this is the seventh month and the bible says revive thy walk in the midst of the years hallelujah there is a mystery with the seventh month is the time where god perfects all things as i prophesy to you please i want you to know that there is an anointing that makes it happen hallelujah listen listen don't, don't mind all that nonsense one way to conquer satan is to ignore him all of that rubbish uh, is is the devil works in the realm of the senses by the time you focus all your attention on this drama and these things you will waste your time i know you are trying as ushers just stand around satan does not have authority i want you to know that there is an anointing manifestations are already signs that his power is broken but satan knows that we walk in the realm of the flesh so he begins to act around your mind to distract you 
when you ignore satan is one way of conquering him it does not have the capacity to continue all of this nonsense are you getting my point so this is teaching you so that tomorrow you don't end up wasting your time with all this rubbish and all this drama praise the lord lift your hands i prophesied as i was commanded you are Yahweh. you are seated on the throne you are Yahweh, seated on the throne. You are Yahweh, you are seated on the throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying right now. By the ministry of angels, are they not ministering spirits? send to minister today that be the heirs of salvation i pray for you every weakness in your life that weakness dies tonight in the name of jesus every weakness in your life that weakness leaves you tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah i prophesy to you that red sea you are standing before by the anointing of the holy ghost in this second half of the year an anointing comes upon you and i prophesy cross every red sea cross every red sea cross every red sea in the name of jesus christ i pray for every student here oh for there is a spirit in man and the inspiration make it men of understanding i'm praying for you some of you listen as i pray now some of you will literally feel like oil being poured upon your head it's an impartation of knowledge right now oh god i release an anointing to change the story of students at the count of three let it fall right now one two three take it take it take it take it now take it now that anointing receive it for exploits shaka ta 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 inside and outside take it for exploits 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 hallelujah everything called stagnation in your life that has forced you to stay in one position while you should be moving right now in the name of jesus and by the power of prophecy i command stagnation to end now 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 my goodness something is happening to your destiny every night season in your life every wilderness experience that has refused to break forth into the day i speak to you right now your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally your morning arrives finally hallelujah there is something called favor i don't know if you know it but there is something called favor when the favor of god is upon a man your looks your background your qualifications no longer matter let an anointing of favor right now i see at least 100 people 100 people like fire 100 people right now receive it receive it favor 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 upon your life favor 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 favor
favor, 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 favor. Parekete, embratata, lakata. I prophesy by an apostolic anointing. Favor, favor, favor. Everyone holding anything that should be given to you for the next level. I don't care where they are, but I sound an alarm in the spirit. That in this month we're entering called August. May that be the month where you receive the keys of the next level. Shekete. Receive the keys of the next level, the mysteries of the next level. Every spiritual blindness, Shababa, things happen around you you cannot see. Lord of spiritual vision I pray right now many of you will see like flashes of light as I'm praying right now you will see literally like flashes of light your eyes are opening right now right now right now right now right now by the power of the Holy Ghost blindness spiritual blindness spiritual blindness be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Be free from it right now. Hallelujah. There are many of us here. Dreams and visions are prophetic channels where we get insight and direction. But for many of us, our dreams and visions have either been corrupted or it's no longer there. The Bible says they will dream dreams. It says they will see visions. Shakataba, lift your hands. There will be an, a restoration anointing right now. I just want you to shout, I receive. Listen, many things will happen to you. Many of you is an activation of the realm of dreams and visions where God will start showing you the blueprint for the next level. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three as you shout, I receive. Let there be an impartation upon your dream life upon spiritual visions one two three now you receive it receive it restoration of fire fire dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams see visions dream dreams Hallelujah. It says, What do you have in your house? And she said, Nothing except a jar of oil. I want to prophesy upon your gift. It's one thing to be gifted, but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed. There are many of you, the gift you have can bring bread to your table, but nobody is seeing it is one thing to be gifted is one thing to be skilled but it's another thing for your gift to be anointed thou anointed my head with oil and it makes my cup to overflow i prophesy to you whatever has covered your gift whatever has made your gift barren right now in the name of jesus i anoint your gift now i anoint your skill now I anoint your gift now. Creativity. Creativity. I release it. I release that anointing. Creativity. Skill. Expertise. Competence. 
proficiency in the name of Jesus Christ listen anybody who has said it's not your time to manifest that you always remain on the background you clap for others but you are not cursed it's God's desire that every man will also come to the lamb light I pray for you whatever has kept you behind right now in the name of Jesus I command let the light be on you let the light of glory be on you hallelujah everything you have tried by your strength to do and you have been unable to do throughout half of this year you have tried by your strength i'm releasing grace upon your life right now go back to that same thing and watch how god will bless you through it i pray for every ministry here from glory to glory every church represented from honor to honor new dimensions of the anointing in the name of jesus christ every business here is time to shine come on every business here i strengthen your hand arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine arise and shine lift your hands one last prayer listen i want to activate the gift of the spirit without the gift of the spirit upon your life your life will be barren and unfruitful it says for i long to see you that i may impart upon you some spiritual gift to the end that ye be established i pray for you in the name of the lord jesus christ that the lord himself something is about to happen to your life right now as i speak father i come under this apostolic anointing right now across the length and breadth in this auditorium and outside at the count of three let there be an activation of spiritual gifts one two three take it take it gift of healing word of knowledge gift of prophecy 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 i activate the prophetic i open your eyes spiritual gifts endowments of the spirit i declare that you are supernatural beginning from tonight in the name of jesus everywhere you go you are supernatural let the anointing upon this house follow you like a shadow i prophesy to you every anointing that is upon this house from today let it follow you like a shadow whatever the anointing has brought to this house let it bring it to your life hallelujah lift your hands and give him praise father we give you all the praise I assure you you will know that this miracle service was unusual you will know many of you right from this night tomorrow will not reach you start having your testimonies right from this night right from this night favor alerts calls I mean connections mysterious happenings 
I speak to the spiritual borders of your destiny and in the name of Jesus I command that every gate that has been closed the Bible says your gate shall be continually open so you have a gate your gate shall be continually open to receive the forces of the Gentiles I pray for you in the name that is above all names let everything in your life start working for you I command the earth to work for you I command the wind to work for you I command the stars to work for you everything that is a disappointment in your life I change it tonight to a testimony Hallelujah. if you're worshiping with us for the first time keep standing everybody there are many people outside let me speak upon your life personally wherever you are please make your way to the front quickly we have one minute to do this god bless you this is your first time you are most welcome there is a prophecy for you you must carry a signature no stand up keep standing everybody must know you came for koinonia hallelujah listen when you come here we may not give you hampers but we give you an identity you will go back with it and everyone will know that you met the christ make your way to the front koinonia celebrate them glorious glorious god brought them by his spirit is this the best you can do in appreciation to what the mighty god has done for us as a house dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again.